Hello YouTube, this is Chris Maniac bringing you another body bag battle. And now this battle is against tournaments and I mean this battle obviously I beat her 5 or 6 to 0. But um, she's a much better battler than in this battle. Um, as you can see in my other battles, um, like in my earlier battle, she's, she's beat me a couple of times. So yeah, she's a very good battler, but in this battle she was unfortunate enough to lose against me 5-0, 6-0 and stuff like that. Um, so in this battle, I am showcasing how good defense is um, in, in this generation because some people say that um, offense is the way to go in this generation. But uh, as Kores says, I disagree. <laughs> However, I disagree because defense is still very good this generation. Um, so I'll show you that in this match. Anyways, I have my defensive core of Gyarados, Venus Venusaur, and Tyranitar. And these three Pokemon, they evolve so many Pokemon, especially these, this generation's threats. I love this core. So, um, yeah, let's go on to the battle. Anyways, um, I have my Venusaur right here, she's taunting with her two birds. And I can't really use uh, anything with my Venusaur, so I, should, so I switch out right there. It gives her a free opportunity to have spikes. And I, I bring in Terrazar. And Terrazar just stays in here to do a lo whole lot of damage to her team because she can't really touch Terrazar unless she brings in Caesar. So, um, she taunts my Terranitar just to um, render me unable to set up stop rocks. And that's a good play in her part, that's a very good prediction. Anyways, she does quite that. I'm um, sending her Caesar to just bullet punch my Terranitar away. But my Terranitar packs the Fire Fang and it gets the crit right here. And that crit. That could that could oh, probably yeah. matter because I remember critting another I mean I hitting another Caesar with a fire fang. Although with a mega Caesar, um I still survived that hit. So yeah. That crit really mattered and that really sucks for her because her only thing that could take out Caesar, I mean that could take out Tyranitar is out of the game. And anyway, everything comes for Dust War and hits me with a times four super effective power up punch, but that won't do much because it's only based for you move. And that's that does like nothing to my turn or I'm um, really like uh only like what uh, one third, but my turn I just live that and like uh, just um retaliate back by us with a super effective crunch. Anyways, in comes her Skarmory, and now both Pokemon can't really touch each other because nothing could just uh, roost up all the damage that I deal to it. Even though I hit it with a Fire Fang and uh, Crunch. So right here, my plan with my Tyranitar is just to get the defense drop with my um, with the Crunch. So yeah, my uh, Tyranitar is just eating um, nails for breakfast, which is that Skarmory, and that's, I mean, it's not really doing that much, uh, eating that Skarmory with Crunch and Fire Fan. Because as you can see, that thing is a total wall, it's a total physical beast, and it's just roofed you off all the damage they do to it. So I can only hope to get a defense drop on that thing and force it out, because my Tyranitar really deals with the rest of Sonomance's Pokemon very well. So, she takes this opportunity to set up another layer of spikes, and that is fine, I can, I can just crunch that thing. Hoping for the defense drop. Nope, I don't get it. Uh, so both of them eat their leftovers. So my Tyranitar has killed off most of the damage that the that, Snore dealt to it. Um, so that, that's what I was talking about. They can just take, take hits, even though it's time to force to my Tyranitar. And defense is really good. I disagree with all the people who say offense is the way to go because I lo I'm loving defense in, in this generation still. Anyways, I get the defense drop on the Skarmory finally, and now I'm gonna just finish that thing off with a Fire Fang if she chooses to stay in. So right here she chooses to switch out because she can um, keep her Skarmory for later on. And in comes her Mandibuzz. And I'm happy that Mandibuzz is in here because I could just don't edge that thing down and hopefully get a crit and take it out. So. Um, yeah, we both eat our leftovers, so much leftovers eating in the middle of the battlefield. And I stone edge, I miss, and she roll wins my Tyranitar out. So that's the best way that she can deal with my Tyranitar, actually. Anyways, it comes to my other defensive monster, which is Bakanawa, my gear does. And uh, as you all know and love Bakanawa, um, you know that she's a physical wall, max HP, max defense, and uh, intimidate. So, anyways, I'm going on the offensive right now. I'm, I need to like destroy stuff in my team because after I wear stuff down my defensive walls, I could just sweep with Reuniclus. Um, hopefully, anyways. So right here, I go for the Focus Blast, trying to deal damage to that uh, Landed Buzz, but he, she brings in her Dust War, predicting that Focus Blast, and that's a very good play in her part. She gets off the Shadow Punch on my uh, Reuniclus, and deals a lot of damage, but doesn't, that's not enough to take it out, because uh, Reuniclus is such a... <laughs> it's such a 
bulky Pokemon, such as Sponge. Anyways, in comes Golurk. And I, I don't want to say guys this thing because that thing is Shadow Punch me too. So I bring him back an hour. Just so I can take any hit from this thing. And even getting confused won't really do much to me. Because uh, Bakanawa is a total monster. She walls everything. And I'm super effective against that Golurk too with Waterfall. Anyway, she sets up a substitute in the switch and she um, she goes for a focus punch. And that really doesn't do much against my Gyarados. And I can just roar her Golurk out. So yeah, she's hitting my Pokemon like waves on a cliff. But that cliff is standing strong, not really, uh, not, give, not giving away um, to, uh, the, to the sea, to the ferocious sea that she's trying to throw at me. Um, yeah, like my, uh, like my metaphor, it's really awesome. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, um, my Pokemon is just walling her offensive Pokemon just um, all day, every day. And then right here, I'm off to go for the offensive move right, right again. And go with my uh, Alakazam, and it feels... That focus blast deals hor a horrible amount of damage to that mana bus. It's so such a wall, damn. I can't really do much against that thing. Um, so she knocks off, she gets a crit. Um, I don't, that doesn't really matter because she could have got the uh, tail anyways, probably the knockoff. I bring in Philippines just to uh, I don't know, I don't know, do something to this thing. Uh, um, okay, so I br she she brings in Golurk um, against my Venusaur, and I don't know why she did that because Gol Philippines could just uh. Bigger drain that thing and uh, suck out its soul and uh, bring it into uh, Philippines and heal her up and stuff. I mean, heal him up. I turn into my Mega Venusaur this turn and then what do we have to go for? I go for the Sleep Powder, I believe. Or Leech Seed! That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna Leech Seed that Mandibus and then um, like uh, just stall it out basically. And now I'm Leech Seeding a Skarmory. So I'm just basically bringing my gear those just to, just to you know, take any hit that it brings at me, which is probably Brave Bird. And just to suck out its health and uh, kill it slowly, or KO it slowly. But I have to go for the more offensive move right here, not into Bacchanella, but into my um, Tyranitar. And then I can just uh, beat that thing up. And I'm, I'm also eating off this Brave Bird too, because that Brave Bird doesn't really do much to me. Tyranitar um, is a max HP and max special defense, but he still does a lot of damage with um, Crunch, Stone Edge, and Fire Fang. So, yeah, more more leftovers recovery. Well, not really leftovers. Uh, more leech seed recovery. Um, she can roost over here, but she is more pressure just to switch out because I can just keep everything up. Anyways, it comes her Charizard, and I go for a Stone Edge right here. Absolutely annihilating, I destroyed. <laughs> Real body bag for that thing. At this point, um, she can't really do anything against my Tyranitar uh, because uh, it pretty much walls her entire team and it hits her whole team super effectively. So she just runs there. But yeah, so anyways, it's, such, it's a really good battler. Uh, she's not. She's much better than um, what you've seen in this battle. I'm not again. I'm not doing this battle to brag or to uh, um, demean my opponent or anything. I'm doing this to um, show you guys um, Pokemon and to so and so you can learn from it. And from here, you can learn that defense is still pretty good this generation. So I hope you folks enjoyed the battle. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all next time.